Today's WordPress tutorial will look at the Media Center. We'll look at how to upload images, how to scale and crop those images from within the WordPress dashboard, and how to insert them into your poster page. The first thing you'll want to do is from your dashboard, once you're logged in, you're going to click on the media link. We're going to add a new document. We're going to select a file from our computer. Computer is uploaded. It'll show you a thumbprint of the photo. It'll show you the dimensions. And this is quite a large photo, so we're going to need to size this because 14, it's 1,400 pixels by 1,050 pixels. Uh, most website designs are about 960 pixels wide, so as you can see, this wouldn't even fit into a website design. So we'll need to make this much smaller in order for it to look good on your website. Um, so we're going to click on Edit Image. We'll scale the image. We're going to make it 600 by 450. It'll automatically do the second figure so that you don't distort your image. Click Scale. We're going to apply it to all image sizes. And now it's ready. It's been made smaller and it's ready to be insert inserted into your page. We're going to give it some alternate text. Alternate text is a good practice for search engine optimization. You want to describe the content of the photo. Um, this is a picture of a fox. Fox in my backyard. We could add a caption if we wanted to, which would also appear on the page, and why not? The alternate text, I should note, does not appear on the page, but it is in the code in the background, so it makes it easier for search engines to identify what, what you're showing in your pictures. We will save those changes. We're going to add a new blog post. Fox in the yard. So we're going to go, going to go ahead and add this image into this post at the full size and at a thumbprint size just to show you, show you how those will look. So we'll go up to our icon um, for media to add media. And I should note that this would include any kind of media that you would typically put on your website. It could be a PDF page, could be a uh, JPEG or a PNG file. In this particular case, I think we're working with JPEGs. The image that we are working with is the 048. Show this image. It's defaulting to the size we last used, which is 300 by 225. Um, I should note this link URL here. What that does when you in, when you leave that here, when you click on the image that's in your post, it'll open up a new page with the image at the full size. So um, when we're looking at the published view, I'll show you how that will work. Um, in this particular case, we want to we're going to add a thumbnail image to this page, so you can take a look and see what that looks like. Um, we will align it, we'll leave it aligned to the left, we'll insert it into the post, and there we have our little thumbnail. Now if we want to update this page, take a look at our published page, take preview the changes, click over here, we can see the thumbnail image, and we can see the original image that we added to our post. If we click on this image, it'll show the full-size image on a blank page. A particular feature would be good if you wanted to show some detail of an image but the in a size that didn't particularly fit well within the design of the page. 
We're going to go back to the page. We can go back to edit post. And if we wanted to say we wanted to remove this image, we click on here. That removes the image. And let's say that we did want to exchange that image and add it to the full add a full size image. Let's go back to our media center. We're going to go back to our image, show that image. Let's add it at full size and let's keep it at the right and we're going to insert it into the post. Now we have the image at its full size. We're going to update our post. Preview changes. And as you can see, the full size image takes up pretty much the full width of the content area, as this area on the right here under the content uh, contact us is designed as a sidebar. We're going to crop this image, we're going to click on it, drag it to the area we want, click the crop button, save the image update media. Now we have the image just of the fox. So if we go back to our post, we're going to put that image in there as well. Let's put it right at the very beginning. Go to our media gallery or media library. Click on our little fox. We're going to leave it at full size. It's 266 by 294 pixels. We're going to add some alt text. We're going to leave the caption off in this particular case. We're going to have it left justified and we will it into our post. There's our fox. So let's save our post. Preview our change. And preview. There's our little guy. There's our full size image. There's our thumbprint. All right, so I don't really like how this page looks, so I'm going to change around the photos. Go into our media library. Here's the big photo. Show that. We're not going to have a link. We're going to put it in full size. We're going to have it to the left. We're going to insert it into the post. I don't need that thumbprint in there. And let's put our little fox on the right. Show this. Full size. We don't need a link. We're going to have it on the right. We're going to insert it into the post. Update. And preview changes. Maybe we should have that picture just centered. Click on the little icon, center, update. Update, preview changes. There we go. And that's a basic tutorial on how to add images, how to crop, how to size, and add images to your posts.